Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott, coming to you guys with part 20 of our God of War Let's Play. So, in the last episode, we finished that rock puzzle and got past the part that I could never get past. And now, why do I have a feeling that this is going to be absolutely annoying? I remember the spot. Now, I can't remember exactly, you know, how difficult it is. Hey, kick. Okay, you can hear the... the spice going ticka 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 ticka. I don't know if you can just stand up here. God, that sound effect is annoying. Okay, so no. No, you can't just stand up there. You actually have to get to the ending. So yes, I do have no orbs because I did use it to upgrade shit, so... Now this one I believe is literally all just luck and time based, so... Good luck. This isn't really much of a puzzle other than just death. So my tip, go as quickly as possible, obviously. No. I think we just lost. You know, because of the annoying... No. Oh, god damn it. That's like so far. This is going to be annoying. This is going to be annoying. Also, it's been a long time since I've had a cutscene. You know, like in the game. But yeah, the one where it lowered the rope. That's about it. Come on. Alright, let's go. Okay. God damn it! So I don't know how we're gonna do this because this part is going to be very, very annoying. So, is there like anything we can do around here other than this? No, there's absolutely nothing. You don't need to show me that it does that every damn time though. Yeah, the fact that he doesn't always grab on, though, is going to be an issue. Alright. Okay, we can make it. It's just, as long as he grabs onto the goddamn thing, we'll get into it. We'll be fine. We will be 100% okie dokily. Okay, so we only have like half of the Wrath of the Gods active, so that's that's bad just in case we get into a big fight. But I don't think we're going to have a huge enemy gauntlet anytime soon due to the fact that, you know, we did so much already. It's like all the satyrs and stuff. And yeah, not satires, they're actually pronounced satyrs, by the way, guys. Okay. I want to in there. Oh god, Jesus, we barely made it, but we did it this time. Woohoo wee! And there's our last Phoenix Feather, I believe, in the entire game. Woohoo! Oh yeah. So, I'm completely happy with that. No trophy or anything for me. And there's the necklace! Yes, let's take it. Got the necklace of Aphrodite. Sweet! God, those are AIDS-infused spikes, you know? I honestly can't wait to play Origins, but that's not going to be for a long time, especially after this hellish nightmare. So, other than this, like, is it easy to get to Pandora's box? Because that one was literally only like a, a... If you did it correctly the first time, it literally took less than a minute to do everything. So, in five minutes, we got an entire half of this gauntlet done. 
you know? Whee! Now, let's go... Do we want to go this way? Why do I hear enemies here still? I'm pretty sure they're not the Minotaurs. But now we have to go all the way back through to go put the necklaces in. You think they'd add, like, more enemies or something here, you know? Because we gotta redo this spot, but no. Now, ah, oh, you can only push it one way. That sucks. So you can't, like, cheat it and just do it the other way. But then again, I'm like, wait, that wouldn't work. <laughs> so it's like, what am I thinking? Sometimes I'm dumb. Like, sometimes I, like, overthink things, and then it makes me seem dumb. Or sometimes I underthink things, and then it makes me seem dumb. So it's like, either way, I seem dumb. And I don't and I don't mean to sound dumb or seem dumb or think dumb or act dumb just it happens you know okay right, so all right so still got these minotaur here you know what let's fight them you not know here eat some souls minotaurs also, our blades are now the most powerful they can be. I don't know where you came from. I don't remember there being a third one that spawned instantly. I don't even know which one I'm attacking. I think I'm attacking the new one. Can you not do that to me? Thank you. I would like to maintain my health. Die, fool! Don't get how that doesn't, like, pierce into the wood or anything and kill us all. But, sure. Don't even know how Kratos can do the jumps that he does. And then again, the gods don't want him to die, so... I'm surprised that... You know, he can die at all. I think this would be one of those games where he doesn't die. I guess that's how they explain, you know, just checkpoints, not lives. Can you just die? Can you just straight up... Get out of here, thank you. Stupid. Of course I'd like to place the necklace. But that is weird. Okay, cool. What does that do exactly? Makes the bridge come out a bit. Then here's the necklace of Aphrodite. Pa-ching! Let's do this. Yeah, because that's how a... This is how a real bridge works, right? Oh my lord. What the hell is this? It's like some weird little... platforming thing. It seems a little weird, don't you think? Uh, I guess it's only magic. I guess it's just assumed that we leave some of the enemies behind. Now we'll only get red orbs due to the fact that, you know, we're done all the uh, collectibles. So everything that we find will now be red orbs. Which means we can upgrade weapons faster. <gasps> Cutscene, finally! The before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back. As familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast. His humanity robbed and replaced only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest. All in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. 
All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. Ares. You will die for what you did that night. Yeah, bro, he will. Now let's kick some motherfucking Ares army Aeus. Don't let nothing stand before you. Oh, Minotaur, eh? Here. Souls of the Underworld. Devour these Minotaurs. You don't even get three charges with Whip Max, you know? That's oh god damn it! Sometimes they do an extra hit and sometimes they don't. There we go. Wait, can we can we get him? Good. I want the health from you. Though this does get tiring to push. This like you have to mash it so fast and so hard. It's just crazy. That's what she said, by the way. I feel sorry for Kratos though. Like, the God of War literally made him a ruthless killing machine that had no remorse until the day he killed his wife and daughter. Wait, is this not destroyable? Oh, you just, I, I know you could get over it, but come on. Oh, the, the music is getting majestic. Why do I have a feeling... Oh, no. Come on, man. You know I hate to be Tarzan. Tarzan, the monkey man, does whatever a monkey can. Come on, what the hell? Woohoo! Fuck no! Are you seriously kidding me? Oh man. Can I just, like, die? Well, dying at least get me back to where I was, because that seems like it's annoying to have to go all the way back up there. Okay, thank you. What the hell, man? Woo! Woohoo! Fuck. God damn it. We're gonna have to keep killing ourselves until we can, you know, get across. This seems like it's one of those spots where the mechanic is really weird, you know? Uh huh. Uh, how do you swing? Okay! That also works, Kratos. No, I don't want to quit the game. Still got some recording time left, man. Woohoo! God fucking damn it! Bah, bah, bah. Like, I don't get this. How do you swing? Well, that's a charge. Why did you jump? Why did you, why did you, why did you, why did you jump great? Get him at, no. I didn't die that many times, game. Like, come on, man. We we'll got a trophy getting my ass kicked. It's just, it's not the fact that the game is difficult, it's the fact that... It's 
It's the fact that the climbing is just bullshit. What the hell was that game? Bullshit. Um, okay. Woohoo! See, I'm pushing right and he's going up, you know? Wait. That's a bridge, eh? Okay. Why do you do that? God fucking damn it! How the hell do you make this jump? And don't ask me if I want to do it on easy mode. Huh. Oh, wait. You have to hold down circle. Oh, my God. You know what the sad part about that is? Not once in the game do they actually tell you how to climb. Or how to, like, swing. They do tell you how to climb, but th that's not what I'm getting at. Hopefully, we can get Pandora's box. Because now we're going up an elevator. God, this temple is so big. Like, I know the Titan is big. Like, Kronos is huge, but... Seems a little unfair to him, don't you know? Or like, don't you think? Nothing over here. Mm, nothing over here. I don't like the look of this. I'll destroy these coffins. For, like, very little money. It's still money, I guess. Aha! Oh no, the architect's tomb. Oh no, this looks like a bloodbath. So we were actually at the traps of madness. Okay, okay, I see how it is. This, this does not look nice. Huh. Okay, it looks like... Looks like we gotta figure out what to do first, because that door's not gonna stay open. It only opens up part of it, so we have to figure out how to open up the rest. Oh. Maybe this Athena statue, or goddess statue, or... Like, who the fuck designed stuff like this, you know? So we guys wanna talk about while I pull this very slowly, because for some reason the pulling mechanics didn't speed up until later in the game. Later in the series, you know? Well, there's one of the doors. And we gotta deal with the other door. Because clearly there's more than one door. Well, more than two doors. Alright. There we go. Some goodies for me. What does this say? The ground is cracked here. You can see a small room down below. So that means we're going to have to get something heavy enough. Or we're going to have to jump from a certain height. So let's go over here. We can clearly deal with this. And it's funny because the wind is blowing outside and it's cold. And then they can hear the wind on here. So it's like, oh. Oh, no. When was the last time I fought one of these guys? Dude. You're a dick. There we go, he's dead. I'd like to grab some of this magic, please, thank you. I hear something. Oh, it's another one. Kind of thought it would be. You know, since we fought one, why just give us one? Well, he's dead. They seem weaker than normal. Oh, they sound like zombies just crawling out of the grave or something. Man, we're gaining orbs so slowly. 
game. You seriously don't need to keep giving me this enemy. It's not cool. Okay, I think we're, I think we're done fighting that exact same enemy. Though, I don't think we're done fighting. Nope. Kinda thought so. Man, a Cyclops! Oh, man. Oh, Cerberuses! Die while they're puppies! Die while you're puppies, please! Here. Souls of Hades. Eat! Eat your fill! Man, how many of these little dogs are there? Well, they don't stay little dogs forever, you know? Wait, did the big guy die? I think the big guy died. I think the souls were mainly coming after him. Goodbye, little schnauzer. Ooh, that actually went fairly well. There is a ladder up. Two la- Three ladders. Oh, god damn it. Never like seeing all these ladders. Oh. It's a giant, uh. Wait, then what are these for? I'm assuming these are for, like, health and then orbs? One of them's probably health magic and then one's for orbs, right? Or. A little bit of both. Oh, I honestly don't even need health. Well, thanks for the magic. And then what's in the other uh, little secret area over here? Oh, it's broken! Okay, I see how that is. Now this, we can then break that crack in the floor. Or, well, what looks like a floor, you know? Now let's drop the rock! Please don't drop the rock on me! Woohoo! Down we go! Uh, uh, uh. Now... That's a weight one again, but why? Oh, but that one's instant! So... Exactly, what am I supposed to do with that? Huh... Oh, wait. I just felt an earth... Ah! There's a big one over here. Can you not fall down the pit? Thank you. Okay. God damn it, man. Here. Eat him. Oh, this... Souls destroy these guys really fast, eh? There we go. Now, was there a uh, purpose to that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I do anything with this? Okay, no, that's just for decoration. Oh, man. Now... Oh, weird thing to ask. Is this... That is also permanent. You also need that one on permanently, so... Then, what else do we exactly need for this? Okay, what's this? Wait, no, that's just where the statue was. Now... Exactly what do I need? Can I, like, not go up? Apparently I can't go up. Huh. Yep. Yep. Now let's see. Anything I'm missing? Wait, can I break this maybe? I don't know. 
But anyways, uh, in the next episode, we will continue on, and then I will figure out what to do here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And before I go, I'm going to check this. Yo, see you guys next time.